What up, people? Archangel here, bringing the um, Killer Instinct video. Getting my rematch versus Sidera. Um, anyways, Killer Instinct is, is the backdrop. I want to talk about um, misinformation on YouTube, like I said I would. And when it comes to misinformation on YouTube, I think it's mostly a hidden agenda for most YouTubers. Like, I think they, they know they're giving uh, the wrong information, but in, in order for it to appeal to the side offense they're on, they intentionally give it. Like, you, like most of YouTubers, they look at articles from the most um, not very credible um, sites. Like, they're not getting it from IGN, they're not getting it um, from that the company's website, they're not getting it from, um, from like GameSpot or NeoGAF, they're getting it from the most low down. Um, site and they're using that as fact, or you know, and or they'll just make up something and they just hope that their followers or their subscribers will grab onto it and, and take that as fact. And like I said, in Battle for Video, there's people who go around saying that Evolve and Watch Dogs and um, some other games are exclusive to certain systems when they're not exclusive to that system. You know, there's people who don't believe that Titanfall was supposed to be on all systems when it was. There's an article out on, on GameSpot where Sony says they really, really wanted to have Titanfall on PS4 and on PS Vita. I don't know how it worked on Vita, but they wanted it on, on the Vita. I bet. <clears throat> but there's people who give this kind of information out, who give the wrong kind of information out, not that precise information out. And it, and it kind of just screws with the, the younger audience. Because you gotta remember that the, that the young audience is kind of lazy. They're not gonna go Google what you just said. And they're not gonna look up anything that, that you're talking about because, you know, they're gonna take what you said as fact. They're gonna assume that since you are on YouTube and that you, since you are voicing your opinion over the internet, that you are at least credible enough to give them the right information. And that's not, that's not really the case. You know, more, I'm not saying that this is all YouTubers, there are some YouTubers who will literally give you the right information. There are some guys like the Guns for Hire who intentionally looks for um, articles from credible sites that he can talk about. And there's, there's guys like, uh, I'm trying to think of some other people like Don't Blink and Russian Badger who, who try their best to give you credible information. You know, not a lot of people will want to do that. Most people, when they, when they give information, they're just giving their, their opinion on something that they heard. So it's more so a rumor than anything else. And they're just talking about that rumor. You know, they're not talking about actual factual information. Um, it, but it, it, you, you, it's kind of expected. Like you, 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 you know, since this, this is all based on viewers and subscribers. So you're going to say things that benefits you getting more subscribers and you getting more views. So making up a, a story or posting anything that you can that you can find to point to to, to appeal to your agenda because you know most people I'm not gonna say most but some people on YouTube have a hidden agenda to where they just want to appeal to a certain side. Like I said, some people want to have a hidden agenda to, to, to make the Xbox One look really bad. Some people have a hidden agenda to make the PS4 look bad. So you have a hidden agenda to make the PC look bad. You know how can you, it's, it's it's silly. And you know this is this this brings to some to something else, you know. And misinformation is, is is there and you know we all know about it. But on a, on another note that this brings me to is <clears throat> the council wars. Um and, and also other types of wars that go on in other communities. Council wars video gaming will, will never be on a on a level of uh, comic book debates. You know, I've gotten to a few comic book debates and I see comic book debates all the time. And they are mature. You now you don't see people saying dumb shit about uh, about Marvel, dumb shit about Capcom. You know, they they have decent back and back and forth conversations. You can't have that in the gaming community because everything in this community is so juvenile, and you can't have a legit conversation about the, the, about each console and or the PC because there's always someone who doesn't actually know what the fuck they're talking about. So that you can't really have a debate because more of an argument and you just go back and forth saying the same shit over and over again. But and uh, but even with even with mangas, even in the, the what, when it comes to manga debates, the the people are so mature about it that they don't that is it, it works. You don't see people saying so stop with, with the comic book um, argument, stop with the with the manga arguments. This anime is not good. This anime is bad. You don't hear that because 
the people, the, the crowd who does, who has comic book debates, the crowd who has manga debates, are very mature about about themselves and what they talk about. Maybe in the future we can have that in, in this community, but right now we don't have that because everyone has their hidden agenda and they and they don't want to have a legit debate. A debate becomes an argument, it becomes a back and forth pissing match. And you don't have that in, in other communities, and that's what this community lacks. You know, that's what this community needs to grab. The community needs to, need, needs to grab on to some maturity. You know, instead of talking, instead of just bashing a certain council, if you if you want to have a, 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 a discussion about councils, have a legit discussion about the councils. Don't bash each council just because you want to bash a council. You know, don't 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 give misinformation about about councils because most people who who watch on YouTube who talk about either console they didn't even play that console you know, me, me, most people who I see talk about the PS4 didn't play the PS4 most people who talk about the, the Xbox One they didn't even play the Xbox One and most people who, who bash PC gaming have, haven't even gained on PC you know, so that's the majority of people who, who, who do these console videos who, who have any experience that and I always say this when it comes to anything in life if you, if you didn't experience it you can't talk about it you can't talk about you can't get someone to find some something that they, that you have no experience in. Does it mean that means literally nothing to that person? You, know, you can't give a legit opinion of something that you didn't experience. But YouTube does that. Meanwhile, when it comes to mangas and comic books, they talk about what they know. You're not going to hear someone talking about um, Electro. They never even read the Electro comics. You're not going to hear anybody talk about Hawkeye when they didn't even read the Hawkeye. Anything about Hawkeye? You're not going to hear anybody read talking about. Dark side, if they didn't even read who Dark Side actually is, but they'll have their debates about Batman versus Superman or Superman and Batman versus Captain America and Spider Man. And they'll just have these back and forth conversations, and they're all legit conversations. The people who usually are in the quality of conversations are very um, re respectful people, and they don't take shots at each other, they just, they, they just give their opinion on what they prefer, and then they discuss on what makes that person better or what makes that person lesser. That's, that, that's what they kind of conversation to have when it comes to mangas when they talk about uh, is is this anime good or is this anime better than that anime for the, for, for the most part when it comes to that they have very legit conversations you know they, they, they give you the reason why they think Naruto is the best anime or they give you why they, they have reason why they think Dragon Ball Z is the best anime and things like that and there's usually no back and forth insulting going on because you know they're very sure about the conversation gamers aren't like that Gamers are pretty much naive, gamers are juvenile, and gamers are more about getting their point across, and gamers are more about pissing the other person off. You can get on any any kind of online matchmaking, and there's always people talking trash, just to talk trash. Not, not because they're bad or because they're good, just because they want to piss somebody off. People do that in gaming. People intentionally say shit just to piss other people off. And, you know... To me, it's, it's each your own. To me, if I want to have a council council discussion, I want to have a, a, a council discussion that with someone who I can, who I respect and some, someone who I know can give legit information on on that system or the PC. I'm not gonna argue with somebody who hasn't played either of the other systems. In many ways, guys, that's all I'm gonna talk about when it comes to those two. Um, as for microtransactions, uh, my, my Battlefield video um, a while ago, I said there was good microtransactions where you can, um, where it benefits RPGs and benefits MMOs. Well, there's a bad side to microtransactions, and the bad side is usually in a shooter genre. In a shooter genre, you have things like what Call of Duty doing, where they want you to pay three bucks for a voiceover pack, so you have an actor voice over your game. Like there's three dollars for Snoop Dogg. He, he he tells you what objectives to go to. He, he you know he's he's doing the cod casting. You know how in Black Ops One it was Ice Cube and some other people. Well, in Ghost they want you to pay for it. It was free in Black Ops One, but in Ghost they want you to pay for it. And that's the bad side of microtransactions. They want paying for something that should have been in the game in the first place. You know they want you to pay. Three dollars for a, a wolf skin for your dog. Three dollars for for um the Gears of War did this too, but you don't pay, pay money for weapon skins. That should have been the game in the first place. And, and that's the bad side of, of microtransactions. Things like that where they're making you pay for stuff that you shouldn't even have to pay for. But they're making you pay for stuff just because they want more money out of you. They're not making pay. They're not doing this so they can better the servers. They're not doing this so they can make more DLCs. They're doing it just so they can get more money out of your pocket. 
and that's the bad thing about it. That's the bad side of my transaction. This isn't like MMOs where they're, where they're asking you to pay for something so where they can keep the servers up, where they can keep doing, they can pay their employees. They're doing it just to get more money out of you because they want more money. Anyways, guys, you taste Archangel, the Prodigy. Let me know what you think of any of the topics that I that I just that I talk, discussed. Um, talk about all of the topics or pick one and talk about it. But um, Killer Instinct is a fun game. Like I said before, recommend anyone picking it up. More videos coming up next. Um, Battlefield probably tomorrow. Anyways, guys, you taste Archangel, aka the Prodigy. Have a good day.